Hey YouTube, just wanted to make a quick video to show off the uh, battery heating cooling system. Uh, it is up and running. Uh, I'm still waiting on two parts. Uh, if you watch the last video, you'll see I was watching for uh, two through hull adapters from a boat company in Florida and uh, totally forgot about the, the one boat company we have here in town. And uh, like I said in the last video again, it's uh, under here, but there's a, a 90 through hull uh, thing plug uh, fitting you can see it right down in there you can see the bubble bubbles twirling it's uh, pulling the fluid in from the tank so uh, I have one still waiting for the other one hopefully it shows up today uh, but I wanted to show it all to you the pump is running right now very quiet really happy with it seems to have really good flow uh, I can definitely add some more coolant but I'm waiting to uh, get that part because I have to go in through here and up and then screw it down uh, so I don't, I don't want the water or the fluid level too high but right now it's flowing through the uh, the radiator and uh, again from the previous video I said this is an oil cooler uh, so it's flowing through that and if I want to switch and heat it actually no right now it's flowing through the, the heater which is right in there if I want to make it go through the oil cooler turn that then I can turn that one off um, yeah, so it seems to be working all great. Uh, really happy with it. Right now, it is triggered just by 12 volts. I have it plugged in right there. Uh, but Matt, who has uh, helped me out with this project, is working on uh, uh, some can triggers for me. So I uh, should be able to set uh, high and low temps to uh, activate the pump and, and circulate everything automatically so I won't have to uh, give it 12 volts. Uh, myself um, I guess that's about it uh, you might see this is new since last video I added a junction box so I'll have to screw it down uh, but that junction box has two gauge wire coming from the battery this RAV4 pack happens to have uh, two uh, two uh, inputs on it so it's got um, uh, the two out there and then the two gauge out over here they both join and they're, they're both common uh, so it's gonna come over here this is gonna provide power to the heater the Tesla battery heater which is right in there um, I can also junction off that and add a second charger down the road when, when I'm ready um, I'm gonna I gotta replace the cover uh, I cut that out for a switch for a previous job um, also I, I plan on uh, using great stuff to fill in all these spots I'll probably add another divider wall right here uh, to keep it all in and just make it look nice. But um, I, I'm I'm thinking that'll help with insulation around the heater and around the tank. So in the in the winter time, I don't lose too much heat and hopefully it insulates it and uh, helps uh, keep it in there. Uh, let's see what else. I t took about a gallon of fluid. Um, I had some of the the test. The Toyota Tesla G48 fluid, I had about a half gallon. That wasn't quite enough, so I went out and I bought some more. This stuff I got from Nissan. It's the same stuff. I looked at it online. I looked at the back. They're both um, ethylene glycol fluids. They're both 50-50 pre-diluted. Uh, the only difference was that the stuff at Toyota was about $43, and this stuff was... $25 so they're just cheaper so I went with that but everything's the same it looks like the same exact fluid uh, I guess that's about it for now have a good one guys